Here's the before and after. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today I'm revealing the final dream garage build. Right behind me is my garage that I've been working on since June. Yeah, June, July. And it is now November 3rd. Uh, it's been a long time, but it's finally done. Well, it's never going to be done, but it's finally complete for what I needed. So let's check it out. Here's the before. Standing here in my garage. It's a complete goddamn mess. As you can see, stuff everywhere. Cars on cars. But today I'm gonna be cleaning it out. This whole wall over here is gonna be replaced with an 18 foot section with Sonic tools and cabinets. I've ordered a car lift from Obsessed Garage. Thanks, Matt. And then all his cleaning supplies. I need to start cleaning it up. And here, I guess, is the before shot. So as you can see guys, I have a four car garage. I actively use these two garages. This one is going to just be for one car, but mainly my workshop. I have four cars, but this puppy parks outside. So as you can see here, this is my 2004 R32 project car for the winter. I am going to be getting this car up to par, adding some bells and whistles, and getting it ice race ready for the Wisconsin winter. But let's get back to the garage. So what exactly have I done to the garage? Well, let's take a look. Firstly, I outfitted the garage with the Sonic Tools cabinet set with all the tools. The main reason I got the Sonic Tool cabinet set is because the organization of the tools. You know, I've collected tools for the last mm, 12 years of my life. And yes, all the tools are functional, but it is nice having drawers just full of the exact same tool, organized and exactly where I need them. So I decided I was going to get rid of most of my tools that I use, rebuy a whole complete set of everything I think I need in a uniform fashion. So the first project I did was I installed this cabinet set and ordered the tools. Uh, I ran into a little bit of a problem here because these cabinets cannot be wall mounted. They have to be floor mounted. And I had to get these feet extension because I have this weird little concrete lip around my whole garage. So that was a little hiccup I ran into with the Sonic Tool cabinet set. From there, of course, I need Amazon box over there. If I say her name, she will activate. And this is where I can either watch um, all the YouTube videos I watch or uh, how-to videos on how to uh, fix cars or, you know, just have a Pandora playing in the background while I'm working on the car. Another thing I added was this Ecobee uh, for my garage heater there. So it's great if I'm uh, you know, at work and I'm heading home and I know I'm gonna work on the, on the car, I can use my phone and turn on the garage heater. That way when I get here, it's ready for prime time working without freezing my butt off. So next step from there was I purchased this new age bold set, cabinet set, because I ran out of space to store uh, the everything that's not tools, because <laughs> this is really just filled up with tools. All of these are tools. Uh, here are my specialty tools from uh, compression testing, spring compression, ball joint tools, 
these are all my power tools so what I needed is a cabinet set for firstly staging all the parts for the car and all of my other projects so I went ahead and got this set now all these bins still need to be labeled but basically these four these six are all for this car they fill the parts so I can work on this car then I have two other car projects and those are for my uh, motorcycles down there all of these are you know different different projects let's see what this is oh this is garage art decorations I want to hang up so obviously that will uh, empty up as time goes this is a uh, brake bleeding uh, kit there so I will soon find space once this becomes a functional operational garage for where everything needs to go but what I'm going to use this table for is say I'm going to do the oil change on the R32 I'll take all my oil change um, parts out lay them on this countertop so I can visually see what needs to be done and this table will always stay clean unless there's a project going on and then I can just stage the parts I need from there there are some odds and sod tools that I like to lay out um, that I've had previously but uh, those will just be there then I just have electronics straw and then some car lift parts because I do have a twin bush lift in the garage so I can lift the car up and do whatever I need to do over there and then on this side of the new age bolt set I have more more bins uh, this is scrap metal bin uh, I do a little bit of fabricating if you will for motorbike stuff um, some boat parts that I need to install but this top set here is everything I need if I go on a road trip or a car rally or a track day I got a backpack some tools so this is stuff I need to organize in the backpack so this will be my going racing uh, cabinet set so as you can imagine everything that you see so far has been just for cars um, but I do have a house and I do do home maintenance time to time so what I do need is somewhere for my home maintenance maintenance stuff so what I decided to do uh, was fill up this wall I had two options I could buy the an, another two sets of the new age bold cabinet set and it would actually fit perfect from there to that wall but I decided to get the new age pro cabinet set and the reason for that is so I can start doing a comparison on which set is better for example that cabinet set from Sonic without the tools is six thousand four hundred dollars this new age bold cabinet set is one thousand two hundred dollars and this new age cabinet set new age pro cabinet set is two thousand two hundred dollars so about a thousand dollars more but I've been told you can't actually see the comparison in size but this cabinet set for a thousand dollars more is far more bang for your buck than this cabinet set but this video is not a review video this is just a rundown what I've done so everything in here is my home maintenance stuff because as much as we all want to work on cars there's still the house um, that you need to work on so in here again I have uh, I've bins for different home projects these are all my it's pretty dark but let me get a light so obviously this side of the garage it's lighter because I've installed extra lights for working on car that side of the garage I don't really care because I'm not working on anything here but in this cabinet set I have a whole bunch of tools um, for the house you know caulk guns all that stuff you don't need to work on cars uh, then when we jump in here I have a cabinet set for light bulbs a cabinet set for uh, what's this one? Oh, gardening then I have a cabinet set 
for paint and then a cabinet set for um, just random household stuff. Inside here, I have my, you know, woodworking tools, sanders, uh, my Craig jig, hammers, routers in there. And then when you get into this draw set, uh, it would be nice if all of this was on that side, but I don't have space. It's easy enough to walk here. Here's are some miscellaneous bolts that I love to keep. Uh, tape, random, you know, socket stuff. Extra specialty tools. As you can see, stud finders, pipe cutters, planers. Haven't figured out anything there yet. And here as well. Haven't done anything. But same principle with how I'm gonna work on the cars is uh, how I'm gonna work on the house. So my daughter likes doing water balloons, so these are just out because she wants to do it once a week. But these are home projects that I need to take care of. And I will leave them on this countertop so I visually, whenever I get into my garage, I can see I still have that project to do or, or this project to do. So these, you know, these are some uh, security cameras I need to put up. So I just put everything visually out that needs to be done. And then in this cabinet, I have a boat. Um, and every, every winter I take all the gear off the boat so it doesn't mold. Uh, so this is just a whole cabinet of life jackets and, and boat accessories. So in the spring, that cabinet will be empty, but I needed some way to put it. And then I just had this little area here where I have some boat cushions, uh, my daughter's Mini Cooper, and that's about it. So that is what I did for my dream garage build. Would I have done anything different now that it's all complete? Hmm. You know, I'm sure I can nitpick on certain things, uh, but. I think this is exactly what I need for now. Uh, obviously, once you do something, you, you rarely get to uh, see if it works for you. And if it doesn't, and if you can afford it, you end up changing it uh, over a period of time. Um, so that's exactly what I'll end up doing, is, is tweak things here and there. But I don't think any major changes will come. I might get more lights, and then just install them on both sides but yeah uh, this garage may not look cool to some guys it may look cool to others but uh, you know ideally I would have gone with one cabinet set um, but when I ordered this one I definitely wasn't gonna spend three times six thousand uh, dollars eighteen thousand dollars on cabinets um, but I really wanted this tool set so maybe that's something I would have done differently but believe me I looked at the new age cabinet set before I ordered the sonic set and I would have done it if these fit in there and if there were so many drawers per cabinet. You know, there's only one, two, three, four, five. Five drawers over there and there's two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten drawers on the Sonic. So I would have needed a lot more cabinets. The one room I forgot to show you was a random room that is on the side of my house. This room is really where the access panel is for my solar panels. I have solar panels right up there. But I decided it's a heated room <laughs> to turn this into my detailing room. So it actually worked out perfectly. So what I have here is my pressure washer, uh, my hose reel, all the different cleaning stuff and towels. Right now I just have some rims in there because these are my ice racing rims. Around the corner there is a vacuum with a 50 foot hose. So I can, you know, normally I'd wash the cars right here. In the winter, obviously I'm not going to wash my cars outside because I live in Chicago and it will be freezing. Uh, but I'll be able to run that vacuum hose into um, the garage. I don't think I'll ever pressure wash cars in the garage because I have no drain. And in the winter, I will just go get, I'll just go to the car wash. But thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you think about my garage. 
Um, it's really something I've wanted for a long time. I've moved a couple times in the last 10 years and every time I would get closer and closer to having my garage be what I wanted and then I'd move and then I'd have to start again. And it takes some time to obviously build your garage out. I had a bit more time this time around and it still took me about four months, five months to assemble this whole garage. So thanks for tuning in. I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can follow me on the journey of building this R32 into an ice car racing machine. Thanks a lot.